Hey guys, this is Nathan. Welcome back to Let's Play Harvest Moon Animal Parade Season 2, Episode 2. So, I had a lot of money. So to get this week started off, I decided to go to the general store and buy a few things that I could, because I want to. Welcome, we've got a new refrigerator in stock and an amazing number thing inside and a bit expensive, super useful something. By the way, I don't think maybe the refrigerators in this game hold as many items as they do in Tree of Tranquility. I don't think. Maybe they do. No refrigerator holds as much as on the 64 version. But anyway, I decided to look through some of the stuff. Um, let's see. Here are the fridges, and we definitely want a large fridge. You can kind of tell what they look like. Yellow fridge, that looks kind of funny. Red one looks kind of like pink and girly. White one looks like a normal fridge. So we're going to go with a white fridge. Large one, of course. Let's see, and I can get a few more things while I'm here. Do, 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 do. Cutting board, that's a normal cutting board. Country cutting board, and cute cutting board. I like the country cutting board. I want the country cutting board. Not that I really care too much about the style or the appearance, but I got money. So, whatever. I'll spend as much as I want. I want the country pot, too. Yeah, I'll pay more for it being country. I don't care. Frying pan, country frying pan, cute frying pan, whatever. You know what? Yeah, I don't like the country one on that one, so I'm going to go with the regular. Not because it's cheaper, just because I don't care. What the crap? Who cares? All right, let's see. Um... Mixers, and eh, mixers kind of something you don't need till later. Aging pots, not really that important. Already got a fridge. What else we got here? Got a cast iron stove, a wood stove. There's a wood stove or wood oven. Cast iron stove looks like a train or something. Oil heater's kind of ugly. Anyway, whatever. Forget all that. Forget it. Forget it. Anyway, let's go home and set up all the stuff that we got. Get here, place some furniture around, and I will organize this as I think it would be nice. So, fridge is under the storage area. It'd be really nice to have the fridge right there next to the oven, or next to the counter of the kitchen. But the phone is actually there. So, tell you what, we're just going to move the phone. Move it under the picture of, uh, of me and Witch there. Yeah, that's a good place for it. I like that, they, that you can put stuff like on the wall, like below something else, you know, like on the ground right, in, right below something that's on the wall. Anyway, put the fridge over in the corner next to the counter. Very appropriate place for a fridge. And we just got a few cooking tools is all we have to put out. Let's put out the country board, or the country board, <laughs> the cutting board. Right there next to the oven will be nice. No, yeah, there we go. Next to the fridge, the pot. Only got two spaces left, so let's put this pot right there by the wall. And the frying pan. Otherwise, the frying pan is going to kick up so much grease it'll get on the wall. Who wants that? I don't want that. Anyway. So, uh, yeah, that's my new setup. Looks pretty neat, huh? I like it. I'm happy with it. Yeah. And while I was at it, I decided to go ahead and um, move the stuff that isn't really supposed to be in my toolbox. I wanted to move it over to, you know, out of my toolbox, into the fridge. Like, you know, food items don't really belong in the toolbox, guys. So we're just going to put the tomato and the carrot. Which, remember, the tomato is for the vegetable pizza we have to make for the hippo later. Uh, that sounds really weird out of context. Anyway, put the tomato there, and the carrot is for sort of a special surprise. Many of you probably know what it's for, but it's for something very important in winter. So, yeah. I did, on uh, Monday... I did have a lot of harvesting to do. Made some pretty good money off of that. I think we made probably somewhere in the neighborhood of about 25000 because we had... No, I'm thinking of a different time. Anyway, there are a couple pumpkins there that didn't grow. I don't know if they were... Um, they were just fertilized different. I think everything was fertilized equally well. But look at all that stuff we got there. Anyway, I went to Witch later on that day. And she asked me if I was free that day. Let's go on a picnic together. Oh, man. Yeah, of course I'm going to picnic with you, girl. Meet me at 1600 at Moon Hill in Flute Fields. Okay. Don't be late. Okay. Yeah, so, flash forward to the date. Just got to stand around waiting. You know, waiting. Making me wait. Probably doing her hair or something. You know, that's cool, whatever. You know, she wants to look good. That's cool. And... 
Oh, look, there she is. Hi, how you doing? You doing good? I'm doing good. Did you wait long? I see you were on time. Yes, I was on time. And somehow we got into that field now. Yeah, the one you can't get to normally. For a date, we can get in there. Heh, you're lucky you get to eat my snacks. <laughs> she is really a comical character. You should feel honored. Of course I feel honored. Huh, yeah, hearts everywhere. Heh, I mean, they're made by me, of course they rock. Got a little bit of a pride thing going on. I even added some lizard tails and bat wings for extra... Wow, I guess I'm into that kind of thing since I have so many hearts up. Okay. Neat. Um... Yeah. Strange date, but apparently I like the food anyway. Yeah, huh. Well, that was fun. Yeah, it was. If you want, we can do it again sometime. Yeah, that'd be good. I'd, I'd be up for that. You know, whatever. Whatevs. Whatevs. Yeah, okay. So, back to away from the date. The next day, I decide to go and buy some clothes. They had some new clothes there at, uh, at the tailor shop. And I have a few set things that I really like to wear because I just think they look awesome. Um, normally, I'm not too particular about it, but these clothes are very Nathan, you know? It's kind of... You know, I'm not really one who cares about fashion, but I just think this makes your guy look pretty cool if you get the hunting cap. Which, I don't know, I always call that like a driver cap. I really have one I wear, like in real life in winter when it gets colder. And square glasses. Yeah. So, let's go home and put them on. See what they look like here. Brown hunting cap. Yeah, like a driver's hat. And square glasses. That's what shape my glasses actually are. Don't want the blue scarf. Forget about that. But man, do I look good. Look at me. I am awesome. Yeah, so anyway. Uh, something else I decided to do was cook something using the cutting board. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, way back, let me add some fish in here. Way, way, way back, uh, near the beginning of the game, we were actually challenged by Chase to cook something with a cutting board. And it's been a while, but I finally decided to take him up on his challenge. So I put a bunch of fish in there, try to get the, you know, as much money into it as I can by adding more fish, and we got sashimi. Sashi, sashimi, yeah, sashimi. Sure, whatever, anyway. Take it to Chase, and to be honest, I really was not thinking that this was going to be a good enough uh, quality dish for him to actually accept it. But, I was kind of surprised with his answer, though. Hey! You brought me some food, let me taste it. Yes, this is good. Yeah. This is superb. I'm sure my customers would be pleased to eat this. Oh, shucks. <laughs> you know, I just, just you know, something I threw together. I made this myself. Eat it if you want something. I received pudding. Oh, man, I love me some pudding. Next, bring something cooked in a frying pan. Oh, you want something cooked in a frying pan. I've been challenged. I'll give you the best dang food you ever had cooked in a frying pan. But, in the meantime, <laughs> we got pudding. I'm going to eat my pudding. I like pudding. Oh man, that's some good pudding. I like that. What's up, girl? Well, I'll see how it is. Okay, so anyway, taking up Chase on his challenge to cook something with a frying pan, I had to come back here to the general store and get a very important item. And it's something that I'd want to get eventually anyway, so I said, what the heck, why not just go ahead and buy it? And that item is the cheese maker. And I'll show you why the cheesemaker is so important in creating a good dish with a frying pan. We need some cheese in order to um, in order to make a certain dish that I know for sure that Chase is going to accept. So I saved back a couple of uh, canisters of milk. Yeah, use one to make some cheese. There we go. And use the other one. Shining milk there, make a little bit of butter. Yeah. And then I'm going to uh, come in here. I saved an egg, too. And so, in our frying pan, we are going to combine cheese and butter and an egg. All pretty good quality. And we're going to use that to cook... A cheese omelette. So, 
Chase, see how you like my cheese omelet. I have been challenged and I will not back down. Accept my food and tell me how wonderful it is. Go ahead, do it. Do it. I dare you. I dare you. You've brought some food. Let me taste it. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, this is good. Yeah! This is superb. I'm sure my customers would be pleased with this. Oh, yeah. That's right. I did it. I made this myself. Eat it if you ever get hungry. Woo! I got cherry ice cream. Sweet. Next, bring a rice dish made with a pot. Oh, I've been challenged again. You will see. I will bring you a rice dish made with a pot. Anyway, at least we got some cherry ice cream. Holy crap, that thing's like as big as my head. Anyway, interesting thing. I got a couple of letters in the mail this week. One of them was from the ranch. Basically, I don't care what they're saying, but then I got one from Witch. Hi, how are you? Don't feel like this is a love letter just because I'm writing you. Writing you here? It's not the first time that I've written such a letter. It's, I mean, it's not like that. It's like a Christmas card, really. It's a normal letter, so don't take it any other way. But it's not that I don't like you, though. If anything, I really like you, okay? No, that's not it. What I wanted to say was that I wouldn't mind going on a picnic again. Don't take this wrong, witch. <laughs> oh, I guess she just loved the picnic the other day. Oh yeah, she wants us. You know it. Okay, so another interesting thing that happened is when I talked to my cat, it gave me the option to adopt him. And so I can adopt our new kitten. We finally convinced him uh, to come home with us and be our cat. And I already had a name in mind. I didn't have to think about this one. I decided to name him Amadeus after uh, my own uh, poorly departed kitty who we had to put down not too long ago. He is a really good cat. Anyway, he is a black cat like this one. And so we decided to name this one Amadeus. Follow me home now. Oh, good kitty. But then the strange thing is magically the kitty disappears. Oh, no. So we got to go home to actually, you know, find the cat. And when we do that, I can show you guys the kind of stuff you get to do with a cat with a pet on this game. In case you haven't seen it. You can pet the cat, much like you could anywhere else. You can carry the cat around. But when the cat is your pet, you get this cool, neat option where you can take it for a walk. Yeah, I know, who takes a cat for a walk? But seriously, you can do that. You can do that with cats or turtles or penguins or whatever your pet is. So you just walk around. Your cat has a big smiley face. You know, you walk around the area, he follows you. And the longer he walks with you, the more he likes you. Also, occasionally, your pets will dig up, like, herbs and stuff like that uh, just to give you extra stuff. Come back in the house. Your pet's here. And you can actually train your pet with tricks using the animal whistle. Here's his first trick. Wow. Boy, that was exciting. Anyway, I did decide uh, on Thursday to go ahead and harvest the Blue Mist flowers. I was waiting to see if I got any more royal jelly or honey or anything off of them. Didn't seem like I was, so I harvested those and decided to replace those with some other stuff, um, some different flowers. I still want some flowers growing in my field, but uh, first off, I did need something to plant in my other field on the side, my 100 plot field, and I decided to go with rice. As far as other flowers, I need 24 of something to replace the, um, the blue mist flower seeds. Um, anyway, I decided to go with the rose seeds in the end. So 24 rose seeds, awesome. While I was over in flute fields, I decided to go... Um, go to uh, the animal shop because we have an open spot in our barn and I figured I would uh, go ahead and fill it up with buying another animal. So, came in here, said, hmm, what animal do I want? Let's buy some livestock. And you know what's really a pretty big money maker on the game if you can really get its affection up? Sheep. That's right. I could get a lamb, but then I'd have to raise it before I could actually get anything from it. So we'll just buy a full-grown sheep and uh and go with it from there and let's see name for the sheep 
Um, I really don't know. At this point, like, my wife was in the room, and I was like, hey, honey, what should I name the sheep? And she's like, I don't know, you know, whatever. I was like, well, what's a good name for a sheep? And she's like, I don't know. And I kept pressuring her. And finally, she decided to give me a name. She gave me the name Bonnie. Even though I'm still a little confused here. I'm running around in circles. But we decided to name our sheep Bonnie. And I think that's a pretty good name for a sheep. I like that name. If I had a real sheep, like, in real life, I would consider naming it Bonnie. That's how, that's how good a name I think it is. So, Bonnie is now a part of our farm. So, we'll go back home, see what Bonnie is like. I come in here, all the animals are inside because it's raining. It's rained like every single freaking day almost. Um, it rains a lot in fall on this game, apparently. And there's Bonnie. You're such a good sheep, Bonnie. Let me brush you. Let me brush you, because you are such a good sheep. Yes, you are. Good sheep. Anyway... Not long after that, I had a cutscene involving the mayor. I was just kind of walked outside my house, and he's like, Hey, Nathan, how you doing? I'm like, I'm okay, how you doing? And he's like, Good morning, Nat, how are you? I wanted to talk to you about the Moon Festival. The Moon Festival? Tell me about the Moon Festival. The Moon Festival is all about eating food while enjoying a f the full moon. The view from the hill near Horn Ranch is wonderful. You should bring someone special to join you. Oh, this is one of those date festivals, yeah. The Moon Festival is held at Moon Hill in Flute Fields. It starts at 1800. I hope you enjoy it. Ah, so we can set up a date. So, considering that, I decided to go straight over to Witches and ask her if she wanted to go on a date. And sure enough, as soon as I talked to her, Hey, are you free tomorrow? That Moon Festival is tomorrow. I wouldn't mind going with you. Ah. Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, yeah, let's, let's do it, babe. Nifty, let's meet at Moon Hill 1900. Yep, don't be late. I eh, never am. Anyway, later on that day, Toby came by to talk to me. Hi, I was wondering if you might be able to help me with something. Well, that depends, Toby. What is it you want me to help you with? It's a very open-ended question. See, it's about this girl, Renee, from the ranch. She's so adorable. But I bet all the guys are after her. What should I do? Hmm... What should you do? Uh, mm, eh, yeah, yeah, okay, we'll say go for it. I mean, that's what that's what we've been giving you stuff for, to get your affection up to do that. That's true, she doesn't have a boyfriend, so it doesn't hurt to ask, or so you think. That means I've got nothing to lose except your friendship with her. Okay, I'm glad we had this chat. I'll let you know how it goes. Yeah, you better. Whatevs. Bye, Toby. Anyway, I decided let's go on to the Moon Festival. Alright, here we are in Flute Fields, and the festival is just now getting started. With a load screen, of course. Oh, it's the mayor. I'd like to start the Moon Festival. It's a beautiful full moon tonight. I hope you all... Yeah. So, moon festival. Yeah. Woo. What are we doing? Yeah, running around the moon festival. Woo. Yeah. Nothing over there. Woo. Yeah, still running around the moon festival like two hours later. Yeah. Still... Okay. Now it's time for the date scene. Hey, you! Nice night, huh? <laughs> yeah, nice night, yeah. And here we are again in that area you can't get to. The full moon gives me some extra power, wow. I always save my hard magic spells for nights with full moons. Well, that's interesting to know. I guess I'm into that kind of thing. The food's good, try some! Yeah! And I guess those look like dumplings or something on the little table there, so we just kind of sit and chat and look at the moon and eat dumplings, and yeah, it's a cool date. I like that. I wish we could stay here forever, but we should probably go home. Tonight was fun. I always like full moons, but tonight was especially... I'll be okay come here together again. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Bye-bye. And, of course, as soon as she leaves... We are given another view of the mayor. 
and his large forehead. The Moon Festival is coming to an end. I hope that we can all come again next year. Sounds good. Yeah, so guys, we will go on home and call it a night. Call this an episode. So friends, thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate it. Um, I want to give a special shout out to my friend, uh, Nocturnal Donut, for being able to answer my question from last episode about Blue Mist Flowers being from Harvest Moon 64. Anyway, guys, I appreciate everything. I'll try to have episodes up as, um, as frequently as possible this next week, but I don't know for sure exactly how well that's going to work, seeing as how um, our church is doing a big fall festival, and we're very, very busy with that, as well as some other things. But if you guys happen to be in the area of Galax, Virginia, and you want to come to our fall festival, heck yeah, come on down and see us. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching, and until next time, stay frosty.